So I wanted this. I've wanted it for a while. As you may know, this is a flexible arm sleeve prop, in this case a winter soldier arm. They make these incredible rubber casts for film, but they always end up covering in CGI. And I didn't want mine to only appeal through a computer screen, I wanted mine to feel real. The problem is that there wasn't a smart enough way to make a flexible cast from a 3D print that didn't involve a lot of complex moulding techniques, toxic materials and so on. And that it wasn't a one man's job. After all you need several people, so several teams to make a foam latex or urethane rubber arm. But I felt very limited by the existing paradigm of mould making, so here's what I did. I broke the laws of mold making and created what I like to call the inverted mold. This literally means that if I make a mold of my 3D print, I get both a mold and a cast at the same time. Let that sink in. I get a cast and a mold at the same time. So I'm basically skipping one whole stage. It was a long journey of discovery and obstacles but I managed to create a workflow in 3D that allowed me to achieve the result I wanted. Then after testing, more testing, some more testing, human error, more testing and even more testing, I got to where I wanted. The Winter Soldier Arm is one of those projects that has given me the most sorrow, anxiety and desperation but it's also given me strength, courage, faith and pride. But mostly, this is a tribute to my late aunt, who passed away exactly one year ago from cancer. It was a long road that taught me so much, but I couldn't have done it without all the people that helped me fund this beast of a prop. So, thank you so much for helping me grow from the bottom of my heart. The thing is, as artists, we often take everything that's emotional about us and stamp it on the project. And I'm no different. I went through some really difficult times when I was making this project. It's one of those things that really marks you and you hope that by the end of it, you, you, know, you come out stronger than ever, uh, but in these projects, there was definitely a lot of times where I felt like giving up. I felt like I wasn't good enough, you know. Um, so, mu so much failure I I've had to deal with. Uh, it wasn't really failure, but it was more like human error, where I was so burnt out that I couldn't even think straight. And I had to think mostly 10, 15 steps ahead of time. And there's only so much you can take before your brain decides to give up. You're left completely shattered, alone, you can't really talk to anyone about this because no one understands, you know, the, the techniques that you, you're developing yourself. It's not something you, you can research online and just go, okay, you know, here's, here's what I have to do. Uh, to an extent, there is some of that, but you're twisting all these known techniques and coming up with something different that's never been seen before. And you get to question yourself and you start, you know, questioning whether this is worth it or not and whether this is going to turn out the, the way that you want to. Uh, so there was definitely a lot of those times where I felt like giving up and I felt like it was not going to happen. But faith in ourselves is very important as artists. You have to have projection, you know, direction and determination even when you want to accomplish these things. Um, if I didn't have anything else other than this job uh, to, to find some kind of fulfillment in life, I don't think I would have made it. Um, and I think it would have happened as well as it has turned out, which I'm really proud of. So yeah, I'm so glad that I wasn't alone.